Human rights organizations are falling into the category of haters. It is about the Jewish people's right to a state in the land of Israel. Okay, if you believe that, then you obviously don't have a Bible anywhere close to you. This is the Israel Guys. Welcome to the Israel Guys, where we believe that in a world of fake news, you should connect to the true and authentic stories of Israel. Guys, today we are talking about apartheid and why you really need to know about it and why it is not happening in Israel, even if the largest human rights organizations organization in the world is accusing Israel with a 211-page report. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and Get the conversation going down below because we love to hear from you guys. And you're also going to get to stick around to the middle of today's program because we have a very special announcement. It's something we've never done before, and it's a once-only opportunity. So stick around to the middle of the show today to find out all about that. Guys, Amnesty uh, International, largest human rights organization uh, supposedly in the world. Uh, they got a huge outreach. There's 150 countries. There's supposedly 10 million people. And they're under that title, human rights. You know, I've, I've begun to think that when I hear human rights, I automatically think the opposite. You know, the leftist world is like that now. It seems like when you hear something, you get just, uh, they, they try to use those titles to entice you into that they, you should think that they actually are about human rights. But And this is not a slam on human rights organizations because I know there's some really great ones out there. It's just unfortunately, we are, not unfortunately, we are based in the biblical heartland of Israel, and we're very much surrounded by human rights organizations that have that are like the least bit about human rights, and it's 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 mind-blowing. Well, Luke, and I, I, don't, I almost beg to differ, like, uh, are there really good human rights organizations? I'm really not so sure. I, if you guys in know the world, yes, of a yes, good yes, human yes. rights no, no, organization, no, just no, let me know. I'm sure no, there's no, somewhere. I disagree. But disagree Luke, completely. I've spent my okay. growing up here I in just the heartland say, of like, Israel. I don't want any people that actually care about human rights like being offended yeah. and leaving our channel because, yeah, there's absolutely there's great no, human Luke, rights there's a thing organizations called in the human world. Rights. I'm specifically talking about Israel in regards to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Yeah the quote-unquote West Bank, we're surrounded by unhuman rights organizations. And that's, okay, that's just where, like, rights. we've been so deeply, um, what do you call it, deeply affected, we're so traumatized. We've been so traumatized by human rights organizations that, like, we just, we've never, okay. you know, we're not familiar with the good ones. You have, but they are out there. You have human rights Don't organizations. Don't be offended by what Josh said. <laughs> and then you have human rights Two totally different, diametrically opposed things. One is a name, and the other is an, is an actual thing. There's people have human rights. Human rights organizations could care less about the humans. And why would I be saying this? Well, The this, ones the that big, work with Israel. Okay, that's, clarifying. that's the one Not I'm going to talk about. Not all the ones in the world. That's the one I'm going to talk about right now. Okay. When you, A human rights organization posts something like this. Guys, just name off some really good human rights organizations in the comments, because Josh needs to hear about it. I do. If you, if you know of one, go ahead. Feel free. I would love to see it. I would really love to see it. Okay. When a human rights organization posts something like this, which uh, Amnesty uh, International just did, uh, Israel's apartheid against Palestinians. A look into decades of oppression and domination. 211-page report by the so-called human rights organization. Uh, inside the report, they speak of Israel's uh, cruel system of denomination and crime against humanity. Mm -hmm. um, Luke, what funny I've thing got is, to do... Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's just, it's just funny because um, the PLO's first chairman, Ahmed Shukeri... In 1961, by the way, PLO yeah. was not established after 1967, right. okay? Um, but in 1961, who later became the PLO's first chairman, Palestine Liberation Organization, he told the UN General Assembly that Israel was pa practicing the, quote, apartheid of South Africa. Very important fact right. you guys need to remember, okay? Because in 1961, all of this area, all of the Gaza Strip, all of Jerusalem, or East Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, all of the Sinai Peninsula, and the Golan Heights was not under Israeli control. Right. Guys, there's this whole big leftist uh, haters, uh, which, why? Again, 
Human rights organizations are falling into the category of haters. Okay, again, that's opposites. But, okay, you got these haters, and they've created this thing. They hate Israel. They hate the Jewish people. They hate the whole makeup, 1948. But there's this thing that they, they created this deal over 1967, saying that, okay, Israel's apartheid, but it's against Israel's uh, move, defensive battle, six-day war, and they took the areas of 1967. Their real battle, and they say that Israel's the um, oppressor and the one that came in and overtook these areas— um, called the Occupied Palestinian Territories. You see this all the time in the leftist. Uh, well, and uh, the, the ma- thing is, the thing that they want you to believe is that, is that it's about the Occupied right. Territories, which is the quote unquote West Bank, right? Judea and Samaria, East Jerusalem. But the thing that they don't want you to know is that it's not about Judea and Samaria. It's not about Gaza, the Golan Heights. It's not about Jerusalem. It is about the Jewish people's right to a state in the land of Israel. OPT. And that's why the phrase is from the river to the sea, right. because it's all the way to Tel Aviv that they, yeah. that they want the land to be free from the Jewish people. OPT, you see it all over their agendas. You see the, uh, this, this written everywhere, the, the, uh, this, this lingo. That, 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 but I'm telling you, Luke, again, I want to re- reiterate your uh, earlier statement that if the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the PA, the Palestinian Authority. Well, Pal- their, PLO turned into the PA later on. If yeah. their creation was uh, 1961, when they start this rhetoric that Israel is an apartheid state, before the occupied Palestinian territories existed, then what is their real battle? I'm just laying out the lie of the left and of these so-called human rights organizations. It's a really absolute 100% lie. So we're just laying it out there for you guys. In 1974, Yasser Arafat continued the lie of Ahmed uh, Shukari and brought it to the UN once again and the same rhetoric rhetoric and he t- compared Zionism to apartheid, right? So then that's the next level. It's digging in a little that, bit deeper. That led into the UN Resolution 3379, which said that, quote, Zionism equals racism. Right. right. Which was a huge deal. If Zionism, okay, so now the Palestinian Authority, they're taking over their apartheid, and now that Zionism equals apartheid, now we're going to take it a step farther, uh, and this Zionism equals racism. Not just apartheid. Zionism equals racism now. So this is where their progression follows, guys. And now I want to take it to, okay, are these human rights organizations, are they really just against Israel's advancement, Israel's claim of Judea and Samaria, or are they really actually against Israel at all? So what I'm saying is, is the question is, are these human rights actually agreeing with Yasser Arafat, with Mahmoud Abbas and saying that Israel has no right to exist. Let's hear it from Amnesty International's staff themselves. I think that's what I want to do. Let's watch this video. Let's roll the video. Now is the time for us, as the world's largest human rights organization, to offer up our analysis. Our findings and criticism are directed not at the Jewish people, but at the Israeli state. It's the Israeli state that put in place the policies that implement the laws and the practices that oppress Palestinians. Okay, there you heard it yourselves, uh, the senior research and policy advisor for Amnesty International. By the way, uh, creepy, creeped me out. Okay, so I'm glad that was only like 30 seconds. But you heard it themselves. This is not about the Jewish people. It's about the state of Israel. They are effectively saying that the state of Israel does not not have the right to exist. And they're agreeing with the PLO, they're agreeing with the PA, yeah. and they're agreeing with Yasser Arafat and with, uh, what was his name, Shukari, right? And even heard, we didn't get in those, but even heard right before we started the show that some of, some of the staff of Amnesty International, maybe this creepy guy that you just saw on video, <laughs> is actually friends and closely affiliated with terrorists. Yeah. Terrorists here in Israel. Well, Luke, I want to say that this, this creation, it's a revisionist uh, idea. It's, uh, when, I, when I see these... Uh, so-called human rights organizations. They're revisionists, they're uh, liars, and haters. And again, we, we've already argued about this when it, in concerning to Israel and the Jewish rights uh, to the land of Israel. Why, how are they doing this? Well, they've agreed, actually, with that concept that Shukari and uh, Mahmoud Abbas and these... And creepy guy. Yeah, and creepy guy. They're all actually together in this anti-Israel 
rhetoric. And who, what I want to bring to point is, is their, their revisionist ideas is that Israel's the newcomer. Israel is a uh, colonialist. Um, they, they've just come into town. Basically, they're, they've come and they've disrupted Middle mm-hmm. Eastern life, ancient Middle Eastern life. So, and, they, they've, yeah. and that's the lie of the Arab revisionist right. as well. So, right? so they, and they're trying to compare them to South Africa, to like the Dutch yeah. boars in South Africa. I was speaking to a, a South African couple that I know here in Israel recently who live uh, from South Africa. They live here in Israel. And they said that they're actually, whenever they hear the term apartheid applied to Israel, they're offended by that yeah. because it's so far removed from the actual depth because the actual definition of apartheid is is uh, defining what happened in South Africa. Now, yes, the international community might have decided that apartheid now also applies to Israel, just like the international community has also decided that Israel is in violation of international laws, even though they can't prove any of those things with facts or logics, logic or statistics, but they have decided that, right? But that doesn't mean that they, it, the actual definition applies to Israel, okay? So they're they're taking a definition that is specifically referring to the time in South Africa when the Dutch Boers came and took over. That does not mean that's that's what's actually happening here. So important to remove what the international media and left-wing NGOs and human rights groups are telling you versus the truth of what is happening on the reality on the ground. The the biggest thing that we have to understand is, is, okay, you cannot equate the two at all. The Boer... Uh, were Dutch. You understand that? And they were going to Africa to take new lands. Mm -hmm. This is the fundamental understanding. You have to understand Israel is no apartheid in any connection to the sense of the word and what happened in South Africa and what's going on in Israel. According to the leftist and the human rights and the Mahmoud Abbas's, yes, Israel is the newcomer and they are like the Dutch boar going to Africa because... Israel was never here before. Okay, if you believe that, then you obviously don't have a Bible anywhere close to you. Israel has thousands of years of history. L- literally, if I just take a 30-second uh, walk from literally this studio here, I will run upon ancient artifacts straight from the time of Israel. And this whole entire land of Israel is littered with artifacts that date back to prove, and guess what? It doesn't It prove there's yeah. zero Palestinian uh, artifacts whatsoever. Palestinian is the new uh, revision. You know, they're, they're, there's nothing revision there. There's just all new. It's brand spanking new hot off the press. But it's a it's a whole thing that the world has bought in. These uh, human rights organizations have bought into the lie of the left that says Israel's the newcomer. They're the colonialists that have come and taken over and are oppressing the ancient civilization that was here and was, is trying to thrive, but Israel's oppressing it. That's the lie. Okay, there's been a constant presence of Jewish people here in Israel, in the land of Israel, continually. Never, never was there not a Jew in the land of Israel. Like Jews have always had a presence here in the land of Israel. They may not have been the majority, but let me tell you, it wasn't because they didn't want to be the majority. It's because they were killed and slaughtered and destroyed all over. I mean, the Romans brutally. And that was really the end of most mm-hmm. of the Jewish population here in the land of Israel when they were taken out for 2,000 years. And they guess what? They prayed every day to return back to the land of Israel. But under persecution and the hardships, they could not do that. Um, so you're telling me the Jews don't have an historic right to the land of Israel? You're absolutely false, and you're just as bad as someone that denies that the Holocaust happened. I mean, you're the deniers of history. You can't. You cannot do that. Um, Josh, so- some of the labels that so-called human rights organizations want to put on Israel are things like that Israel is a Western racist modern state. They're an occupier. They are colonialists, right? And that they have no rights to the land. But yeah. the facts, just like you said just now, say completely opposite. Did you know that history tells us that there has been a continuous Jewish presence in Jerusalem yeah. for the last, how many years since David? 3,000 plus years, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Um, and they have always been here. Uh, has, you know, where, where's the Palestinians' history? They have a yeah. museum somewhere over there by Ramallah. <laughs> Maybe we should go on an adventure show because I've heard there's nothing there because <laughs> they there. couldn't find anything to put in it. Okay? There can't be anything. This is what, there's a guy that lives on the here, hill over across from where we're sitting in the studio right here. His name is Al-Masri. What does Al-Masri mean? Egyptian. That means he came from Egypt, okay? They also came from Syria. They came from Transjordan. They came from Saudi Arabia. They came from Lebanon, right? This is where they, this is where they came from. Israel has been the Jewish state for 
plus years. If we go back to Abraham, we're talking about 4,000 years. Those Luke, are the facts. I want to make one last point here on this thing, and it's uh, the, the complete falseness of it. I want to just, who else agrees? And it, just look at the people that agree with Amnesty International. Who agrees? Well, first you have Fatah, a terrorist organization, agrees with their rhetoric mm-hmm. and their revisionist history. Yeah, so they're well, like you, the, you said it. They're terrorist organizations. They are terrorist. Did you catch that? Yeah. I'm just, just wondering. Yeah, and then we have Islamic Jihad. Anything with Jihad in it? Go ahead and just realize it's probably bad. It means like holy war, okay? Yeah. Jihad. Or unholy Islamic war. Islamic Jihad, okay? They're, they agree with amnesty as well. Uh, Hamas agrees with amnesty. Uh, and the popular front... Hamas is the worst terrorist Palestine. organization. The yeah, just to clarify. That according to yeah. yeah. That's like the bad guy in the international. Like nobody, right. yeah, everybody gets him. Uh but all these people, they literally are killers. They are bent on the destruction of the nation of Israel. And under a left disguise of human rights, the Amnesty International has the audacity to join the choir with terrorists in trying to attack and delegitimize the state of Israel. Guys, wake up. That's actually what's happening. So the uh, founder of the BDS, the Boycott Divestment Sanctions Movement, Omar Barghouti, said, quote, Israel cannot be as a settler colonial apartheid state. Cannot be a normal part of this region. (laughs) Ironic thing is this guy's Israeli, okay? He's basically saying Israel does not have the right to exist. Now, Dan Diker, columnist and uh, analyst at the at JNS, Jewish uh, News Syndicate here in Israel, said Amnesty, like the PLO, continue to work towards their shared final solution: the cancellation of the one and only democratic Jewish majority nation state and its replacement with a twenty third twenty third Muslim majority Arab state of Palestine. Did you catch that? There's twenty two Arab states already around here, so they just want to make this area the 23rd. And no, they don't just want the West Bank and Gaza. They want the entire state of Israel. And Luke, I just want to pick up his quote. You can't just run over that final solution without bringing it up. Literally, the world is intoxicated with a, with a, uh, the, there's a Jewish problem. And they have a pro. what it is, is they have a problem with the Jews. And they have their solutions. And they call them like final solutions. And people like Hitler had the same ideology as these terrorist organizations that we mentioned, I mean, you just, they're there. The ideologies are the same, and they're actually built on the foundations that Hitler laid in the Holocaust. There was even gas chambers preparing to be built just a few miles from here in the 40s, okay, 30s and 40s, okay. Literally, it's built on the exact same foundations that were laid in the Holocaust, and now the human rights organization literally has the audacity to join the choir against Israel, and this, I'm telling you, is their final solution. What? They want Israel. You heard it from the mouth of the guy there himself that said, it's not about the Jews. It's about, basically, let me just re-quote, it's about getting rid of Israel. Israel, the the state of Israel is the problem. Wake up world. Human rights organizations saying an entire nation has to be done away with. That's what they're saying. Get rid of the state of Israel, and then we'll be happy. Okay, guys, get the comments going down in the comment section below. We want to know what you think about Amnesty International, other human rights organizations, and most of all, let us know what you think about apartheid. Is it really happening in Israel or not? We're doing something we have never done before, and that is a one-time only, limited edition, released of our proud Zionist t-shirt. This is a brand new t-shirt design. It is the coolest a uh, most meaningful message right. billboard t- t- t-shirt that you could wear as a proud supporter of Israel. Now, if you're in the wrong place in the world, this t-shirt might not be for you because it could actually probably get you into some trouble. But if you uh, are are a brave Christian Zionist, even if you're not a Christian, if you're just a proud Zionist, a proud supporter of the state of Israel, you want to get this t-shirt. It's available right now. Link is in the description below. You know, we're fighting against a lot of things here at this channel. Our content's free. We don't charge anything. Um, We're fighting against a sea of fake news, things like Al Jazeera, uh, CNN, uh, New York Times. Human rights organizations. uh, Amnesty International, (laughs) right? But we need your help because we we also fight censorship from big tech, you know, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube even, you know, Google. We're fighting all these things. So we need your help. Um, Besides donating at theisraelguys.com, you can purchase one of these T-shirts because it helps us do things like paid advertising and get our voice out there so that more people can hear the true and authentic stories coming out of the heartland of Israel. 
So you need to get this t-shirt right now. We have men's and women's styles. We got two different colors. We got the Zionist definition of a Zionist on the back of the shirt and then proud Zionist right across the front so that in your home community, you can be a walking billboard of your support, unconditional and undivided support for the land and people of Israel because you believe and we believe that Israel has a right to exist. But this t-shirt is only available for seven days and it is a one-time thing, okay? It might not ever come back. So you have to get this t-shirt within the next seven days. If you're watching this video a few days after it went public, go right now, okay? Link in the description below and every purchase of a t-shirt helps support the Israel Guys Network channel, okay? Just in case you guys don't know already, here at the Israel Guys, we are seriously proud Zionist. And I, and I really hope that all the anti-Israel haters and... Um, you know, those those human rights organizations. Right. I really hope that you're watching right now and understand that you've got a formidable foe. And there's thousands That's and right. millions of people out there that are proud Zionists, that are ready to stand beside Israel and walk with Israel and be there and defend the Jewish right to the land of Israel. And, and if you're one of those people, comment down below, hashtag proud Zionists. That's Remember, right. subscribe on whatever platform you listen or watch. Make sure to hit all the notifications there. Tune out the fake news, but tune into what is actually happening here in the land of Israel. We'll be, at, we'll be back next week here at the Israel Guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you like that content. We can get it to you every week right there at your fingertips. If you really liked it and have questions, anything, we love comments, go ahead and leave us a comment as well. If you'd like to even go further, your support would be greatly appreciated. We've got lots of content, lots of ideas that we wanna keep pushing out there. If you wanna support, you can go to our Patreon page or check us out at theisraelguys.com.